The aim is to be able to isolate the shoulder blades going backwards and forwards without allowing them to go up and down. What we're looking for is this movement here. As we're moving the shoulder blades forwards and backwards, notice how I'm not shrugging towards the ears or coming down. They're staying locked in and down as we open up. We're going to start in a box position. Make sure pelvis is tucked in. And then keeping the arms straight and locked, you're just going to fall through and push up as high as you can. Fall through the shoulder blades and then push up without allowing the shoulders to shrug up and down. So going down and up is one rep. What's going to be really difficult is actually maintaining this core position. What you're wanting to do is probably extend the spine and we're trying not to allow that to happen. And give yourself the patience with this exercise because a lot of people struggle to do this without being able to isolate that movement properly with the core engaged. Another thing that's quite tricky with this one is to not let the arms bend. You're probably going to find that your arms just want to lock down as you're moving backwards and forwards and try really, really hard to just isolate the shoulder blades doing the movement and keep the elbows locked in. If you're feeling slightly more intermediate or advanced in this movement, you feel like you've got it down pretty well, you can also do this in a push-up position if you wanted to. So from here, make sure everything is tucked, core engaged, fall through and push up. If you're finding that you're arching your back quite a lot, then I want you to just move back to the box position. 